this is a third and the last video about form sets in Django and in this video we will go through all the stuff that we haven't been uh, through yet so let's start so the first thing that I wanted to show you is that uh, you can uh, define that your that your form set can have ordering in order to do that we define can order true uh, when passing this uh, option to form set factory you can see that you have uh, here a new field order field if you submit data and you receive data back you can uh, receive this order uh, dictionary value too uh, if you have some extra field, uh, extra form, then uh, if you define order, you also need to define um, the, the required fields. Otherwise, you will have error. So this, this is how it works. Basically, uh, if you remember from the video about forms, all the fields have widgets and basically now we have uh, additional field here which is also associated with a particular widget in this case it's uh, i think integer field or something like that but you can uh, change that you can change it for example to hidden field and you can do it when you define your custom form set, uh, we talked about that in the previous video. So if you don't know how to define that, please uh, take a look at the previous video. And here you can actually define ordering widget. And let's uh, from forms copy hidden field. And let's define ordered widget as a hidden field it's not hidden field it's hidden input so define it as his hidden input and now you can see that well you can't see anything actually but there is actually uh, this ordering field here but you can't see it because it's hidden but if you send data you will still uh, have it here in the received data. So that's about ordering. Uh, you can also define can delete true, can delete. And in this case, you can actually uh, delete forms here. For example, let's delete the second form. And then when we submit the data, we can uh, also see this uh, value along with the key delete in a dictionary. Uh, you can also see that here you have uh, this delete field also for a extra field, extra form that we define and you can actually turn it off, can delete extra. If you set can delete extra to false, then the extra field will not have this delete uh, extra form will not have this uh, delete field and that was what I wanted to show you about uh, this can delete and can order options here so let's go to the next topic and the next thing that I wanted to show you is you can define your uh, fields inside your custom form set so for example you have here uh, default name field for each form but you for example when you order when you when you um, display this form set along with any form you know the form which has name or maybe the form which has second name on year or whatever fields it has uh, you you want to always add some particular fields there uh, regardless of the form and the form fields and in order to do that we need to define this uh, add fields add fields uh, method inside your custom uh, form set and here you define form fields and you define your 
you know additional field for example my field which is uh, char field here and if you open this page name forms is not defined let's uh, from Django import forms so be just easier and you can see that we also have defined uh, a particular field here new field which you can uh, change to like that and you can also see that uh, Django actually automatically assign name based on this uh, this name here so yeah uh, this is how you define your additional fields the other thing that i want to show you is that you can pass extra parameters to your to your uh, custom form set in order to do that we need to define uh, actually redefine this init method and uh, yeah, for example, whatever custom parameter that you can define here, any custom stuff, extra, let's call it extra parameter. So you define this extra parameter in init function. And if you don't pass it, you have problems here. So you either pass it uh, as a default parameter here, or if you don't want to do that, you can actually pass it when you uh, initialize the form set, extra parameter like this, whatever. And now it's working. And then you can use this extra parameter uh, anywhere else in your form set for example let's not just add a field but let's add the field with this extra parameter name that we have defined self extra parameter for example and now you can see that we have this name uh, for a extra field extra field with extra parameter name Two more things that I wanted to show you, which are a little bit related. And this is first a prefix thing. So if you open the page source, you can see that you have your uh, names here for your inputs as uh, have, having uh, this kind of name. For example, if you have a name field it will be called uh, form zero name or id form zero name and this is this thing you can see it everywhere here in uh, different inputs this is called prefix and you can actually change it when you initialize your form set For example let's call it student and let's reload the page and now if you take a look at the source you can see here that the form was uh, changed to student and why it is important it can be really important if you have uh, several form sets in the same time so for example uh, let's create one more form set uh, without prefix here dot prefix uh, let's call it form set 2 and let's pass it here is a form set 2 and let's actually display it here from set two set two okay so now we have uh, displayed two form sets in the same time 
and this is basically the last topic but we have a problem here because if you take a look at the port or at the source page uh, we can see that for example this id id form zero name actually repeats itself twice because it repeats itself in the second uh, form set and in order to actually work around we can define a particular prefixes for both of these form sets for example this can be student one prefix and here can be prefix equals student two and now let's try to reload the page view page source and let's try to define this id and we can see that we have only label and input with this id and that's it you don't have actually uh, repeating ids here and you can actually see that the second uh, the second field which was repeated in the previous example now can be found by id with prefix student 2 yeah, now it's uh, ID student two zero name. So that's about it. That's all about form sets. And I hope this lesson was useful. And please subscribe, give a like, comment, because it means a lot to me. I put a lot of work in these videos and I would be really grateful if you support me with your likes and comments and subscriptions. Thank you.